The Seattle Seahawks are now 8-4 after their big win over the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday night. The players returned to the VMAC on Monday to go over the tape, and as you can imagine, it was an enjoyable film session. Really liked the film. Uh, a lot of good work in this film. and uh, The players played really hard uh, like we needed to, and we played smart and stayed out of our own way for the most part. Uh, made it a game we didn't give them uh, much, and, and so they really had to earn it, and it worked out really well for us, really in all phases. The defense continued to shine last night, keeping the league's highest scoring offense at bay. It was a good example of how strong the depth is for Seattle, with several key guys missing. Bradley has shown you that he's a legitimate football player, and he can step in and do stuff, and whether it's, uh, you know, the, the the rotations where Frank has taken over for Cliff, or you know, you know, you're seeing you know the depth come through, and uh, very fortunately pick, picked up uh, Byron, and he's done a nice job and, and given us experience and you know kind of wherewithal that helps. Um, you know, when when Jay Lane played, he did he did well, and here comes Shaq, and Shaq came back in and did good again. You know, and so. Um, you know, we feel pretty good about it. The numbers really speak for themselves. When the team had Richard Sherman and Cam Chancellor on the field this season, the Seahawks allowed 18.3 points per game. In the three games since the pair was injured, those numbers have barely changed, bumping up to just 19 points allowed in that span. That's a big statement. You know, if we're able to maintain the same kind of uh, points production and, and keeping it down um, with the new guys in there, I mean, that's, that's you know, that's what you're looking for, and it's, that's the end of it. Yeah, it's all about those points, you know. So, um, and we're going to try to get better. I think we can improve. Our, our communication is going to get better. We'll, we'll just improve as we're out there more so. And, um, and Shaq just got back for the first time playing with Bradley, so it's, um, you know, that's strong safety. So it, all that's going to help. Pete Carroll raved about the fans and the energy in the stadium Sunday night, calling it a special bond with the city. The fans were just on it. You know, it was a perfect, perfect response to the event and the. And the the matchup and all that and Sunday night and you know I don't know it couldn't couldn't be better so it was great. I saw our guys on the sidelines were getting whooped up and they're you know trying to get the crowd going as were some of the coaches and uh, yeah, it was it's really fun to connect with them in that way. It's a very special relationship we have with our fans. We're very fortunate to have it. Well, some good news. No injuries to report as the team made it out of the game healthy. The players now get a well-deserved day off on Tuesday and will return to practice on Wednesday as they start preparing for the Jacksonville Jaguars coming up this weekend.